हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप टुडे इन सीरीज ऑफ डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डुअल ऑफ कंपाउंड प्रोपोजिशन सम लॉजिकल इक्विवेलेंसेस देयर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स एंड नॉर्मल फॉर्म लिंक ऑफ डाउनलोडिंग दिस फाइल इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टुडेस लेक्चर for finding dual of a compound proposition we have to simply replace the symbol and by or or by and true by false and false by true let's take an example if we are given true or false the dual of this compound proposition is false and true it is simple in this slide we have some important logical equivalences the first is double negation if we have a compound proposition like negation of negation p then negation and negation cancel out each other and it is equivalent to p the second one is distributive law if we are given p and q or r then it is equivalent to p and q or p and r similarly if we have p or q and r it is equivalent to p or q and p or r the third one is de morgan's law it is also very useful in solving questions in de morgan's law if we have given negation of p and q it is equivalent to negation of p or negation of q similarly if we have given negation of p or q it is equivalent to negation of p and negation of q here we are going to discuss some logical equivalence of implication property the first one is if we are given p implies q it is equivalent to negation of p or q it is a very useful property in solving question the second one is if we are given p implies q and p implies r then it is equivalent to p implies q and r 
the next variation of this point is if we are given p implies r and q implies r then it is equivalent to p or q implies to r similarly there are two other variation of this rule which are if we are given p implies q or p implies r it is equivalent to p implies q or r and the last one is if we are given p implies r or q implies r then it is equivalent to p and q implies to r these two points are for the implication the next point is for by implication if we are given p by implication q then it is equivalent to p implies q q implies p if we are given p implies q we can also write it as p by implication q is equivalent to p and q or negation of p and negation of q in this slide we are going to discuss normal forms normal forms are very important in solving if a compound proposition is a tautology or valid or not there are two types of normal form first is conjunctive normal forms in this we have to represent our compound proposition into product of sum that is let's take an example if we have given p implies q and q implies r then if we have to convert into conjunctive normal form we have to use our previous rules we can convert p implies q into negation of p or q and negation of q or r here we convert p implies q and q implies r into a conjunctive normal form here we have a product of sum here or is treated as sum and 
the operator and is treated as product. The next form is disjunctive normal form. In this, we have to represent our compound proposition into sum of product. Let's take an example of sum of product. Negation of P and Q or P. Here it is a sum of product. Here or is represented as sum and and is represented as product. So friends, if you find this video helpful, please like, comment and share this video with your friends and don't forget to give your feedback and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you next time.